Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Style Cooks Keto and today I'm going to share with you guys this amazing, really chocolatey, delicious keto lava cake. Now, before I eat keto, I'm not really a fan of lava cake because I find that it's too sweet for me and they also often add ice cream to it and it's really fattening because of so much sugar. And now I'm in keto and I learned about this keto or low carb lava cake. It's really delicious. I tried it a few times and I adjusted the recipe to the perfection I'm looking for and decided to share this with you guys. So let's go find out how it's done. So we're going to start making the um, keto lava cake. So first of all, we're going to mix the dry ingredient before we mix the wet one so we're gonna use two tablespoons of 100% cocoa powder I use the one from Red Mart uh, if you're from Singapore you'll be familiar with Red Mart but however if you're overseas then use whichever brand you prefer but use the 100% I find that the Red Mart one is actually much much um, fragrant and chocolatey. The quality seems better than the Hershey's one. Okay, it's much more smoother as compared to the Hershey's one. No, well, but if you if you like the Hershey's one, you may use that. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of the cocoa powder. And I'm going to add one quarter of the one quarter teaspoon of the baking powder. And I'm going to add one and a half tablespoon of Xylito, now my Xylito package has already broke, broke, so I just use a Ziploc bag to store my Xylito, so this is one tablespoon, I'm going to add another half tablespoon. Now I don't like it too sweet, that's why I'm only using one and a half. And we're going to mix the dry ingredient. Make sure this is mixed well. Oh yeah. And a pinch of salt. You can use uh, whichever salt you want. I only have pink salt. So I'm going to just use a small pinch of salt. And make sure you mix the dry ingredient well. Or else you're going to have lumpy uh, mixture. So mix it really well. And we have, we are now going to mix the wet ingredients. So I have one egg here, and I don't have a mixer. If you have a mixer, you can beat it for about one to two minutes. I don't have a mixer, so I'm going to mix it, whisk it by hand. We're going to mix it really, really well. Got to beat the egg, like punishing it. 
for being a naughty egg. Make it really nice and frothy. Frothy. Frosty the snowman. Okay, so it's about almost done. Maybe a bit more. Okay, so now it's time for the liquid mixture. So after you beat the egg, let me see, maybe I can do a little bit more. We're going to add two, no, half, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Tablespoon of heavy cream. So two tablespoon of heavy cream. One and two. Together, whisk, 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 whisk. See, this is all so light and frothy now. Okay, we're going to mix in with the dry ingredient that we have already mixed. this all together oh, it's so chocolatey so chocolatey now I initially when I first made this recipe I had adjusted it to the best as I can because when the first first and second time when I made it um the lava actually it's still lava but it doesn't flow out as much as I wanted it to so I adjusted the recipe and also I also adjusted because I thought it might be too sweet and I used one tablespoon and it turned out my lava cake was quite uh is quite a little bitter and I decided okay so adjusted it so I used one and a half tablespoon of xylito. If you want to use less it's fine if you want your lava cake to be bitter as the sweetness as you prefer so you can just adjust the sweetener on your own but everything else you can just follow the recipe once it is well mixed okay if you if any of you miss out any of the ingredient I actually will post the ingredient at the description below so you can see it's how well it's mixed. Okay, that's when we are done. Ramekin bowl that you have greased with butter. I usually tend to grease anything 
pastry or cake with butter because it smells better. I would never use any other oil. Okay, so grease the side as well as the bottom. Make sure it's greased really well and now you pour the batter into it. You've got to grease it really well so that it can pop out the ramekin. If it can't pop out then you can just stir it in the ramekin. That's what I always do because this is like a one one to two person serving. It's not really a lot. Now it's keto dessert so try not to have them every day. I'm trying to scrape off every ounce of every little bit of Now we're going to bake this in the oven or the air fryer. I'm going to use it in the air fryer. I'm going to air fry. It's, it's work, it works the same way as the oven. Okay, but you don't preheat uh, air fryer. So I'm going to put it in at 170 degrees Celsius for about 7 to 8 minutes. You can check in and out through the oven 7 to 8 minutes. It's actually pretty fast. It's been about five minutes and I can I can smell that thick fragrant chocolatey lava cake already. And let me just do a quick check. I know it's not ready yet, but okay, it's not ready yet. You can see it's almost ready but it's not ready. See the top has not been formed yet. Okay, so let's check. Okay, and it's done. Look, it's already formed. It's still a little wobbly. Make sure that it's a little wobbly. It can't be too solid because it's a lava cake and you need to take this out immediately. You can't leave it in the oven or the air fryer or the whole thing will get cooked instead. So, take this out. And you leave it to cool down before you serve it. So, I have taken out the... It's cool enough for me to take it out of the ramekin. And it's so moist that the side of the cake actually cracked. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys when I cut it in. Oh, so delicious. Ready? Are you guys ready? I wait for you guys to be ready. So one, two, three. Woo! Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. It's so gooey. Okay. I shall take a taste test for you guys. I hope it's not too hot. It's so gooey. Mmm, the perfect temperature, the perfect sweetness. Mmm, oh, you guys have to try it out. Let's try the recipe. Guys, that is how you make a really delicious and creamy chocolatey lava cake. And it's so delicious, okay? You gotta try out this recipe. And be sure to make sure that you use a medium-sized egg because if you use a... Egg that's too big, you'll be too much liquid and moisture inside. Based on that, I use two tablespoons of heavy cream. It will be too watery. Your batter should be sticky and thick, but not super sticky like like a syrup that is too thick. 
you want it to have to be a little sticky but not like overly over sticky and watch your temperature because it's very vital for it's very temperature sensitive too hot overcooked is your keto that's it you end up with chocolate cake so watch your temperature and let it cool down naturally not too fast not put it in the freezer or the refrigerator to cool down just put it outside so that it can cool down and have some time to form some solid on the outside as well so that the inside stay lavari is there such a word as lavari <laughs> So I just coined a new word, lavery. So it still stay lava, so it can flow. You don't want it to be too liquid, otherwise it flows like water. So have some thickness, it flows slowly. So, and it's really delicious. So I, you guys should really, really try out this recipe for yourself. That's all the tips I have and the recipe. Please enjoy. So if you like and enjoy watching my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. There will be more food, more keto food coming up. So when you subscribe, you get informed notification that I have uploaded a new video. So thank you. See you all. Bye-bye.